Alrighty, I hope everyone got all caught up. Um, I know it's been a while if you were the original watching this originally, but we're going to continue. <laughs> um, so, so far we have done the bobbles, the first two sets of grannies, and this white section here of uh, back, uh, back post double crochet. Now we're going to start round 17, which is going to be a very simple and quick round for you. Um, round 17 is going to be back post double crochet, chain one, and then rounds 18, 19, and 20 are, as you can see, just, which you probably can't see real well because it's a light background, but um, let me put my hand back there. Uh, so you can see they are just double crochet rounds. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Um, then we'll do another set of grannies, which you already know how to do, so I'm not even gonna go through that again. Round 17 and round 25 are exactly the same round. They are back post double crochet rounds. Um, so when you do this round, exact, exact same thing here, I won't go over that again here. Round 18 and round 26 are the exact same rounds. It's pretty simple, understandable stuff. I don't think you'll really have any trouble with that. All of the white rounds um, before the border, all of the white rounds, and, a and actually I think in the border <laughs> mostly as well too. Uh, anyway, all of the white rounds are double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Um, so we're gonna start with round 17. Um, you're going to want to join what you'll be joining or starting with your white yarn you can either do a, a chain three but we're gonna be starting in this stitch right here so you'll either do a chain three or um, standing alternate double crochet whatever they want to call that um, however you like to start a row you're gonna start on here and then you're gonna do a back post double crochet on the next on every double crochet and a single uh, and a chain one on every chain one space. So that's how row 17 and row 25 are the exact same thing. Now I will tell you that I did this part and then I accidentally deleted when I went to save. So I have it to, um, I pulled out the last of the rounds so that all but, the, all but the end of it so that we could at least go from here. So this for you will either be, it'll be the start of your round, but you'll either do a standing double crochet or a chain three. And then you're going to do a back post double crochet. So you bring your hook behind the crochet, uh, the post. Now you, now you see you'll have four here, so when you do round 18, you'll, we'll, well, we'll go over that then. But So then you're gonna do a chain one, and then three more back post double crochets around all of the double, double crochet in the previous row. Oops. So three double crochet, chain one. Do that all the way to the end, and I'll meet you when you get back to join at the end of the round, um, which will be just a second for me. It'll take a minute longer for you. Okay, so now here we are back at the corner, and we're going to do a double crochet. Uh, chain two. And we're gonna slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet over here. To join your corner. Now we're going to go back into that same stitch and do an alternating starting whatever double crochet and now we're going to do a double crochet on top of every double crochet and a chain on top of every chain all the way around. The corners will be one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. So on this round the start of each corner and the end of each corner will have four double crochets before your chain. The next round there will be probably five double crochets. Um, but we're just going to do this double crochet on top of every double crochet, chain one on top of every chain one, 
for three more rounds for a total of four white rounds. Then you're going to do another round of grannies. So just like the first round of grannies and then you we did that together, then you did the um, double crochet row by yourself and went back to the grannies. Um, we're gonna do four rows of double crochet just like this. Um, and after the fourth row, you're going to do four more rows of grannies. So I'll meet you back after you have your next four rows of grannies. And we'll start off with the last section of white. Um, before we start the border. Okay. Yep. That's how it works. All right. So I will see you back in a few minutes. Okay, so uh, I'm just finishing up round um, 26, which is the double crochet, second double crochet round here. Uh, and then we're going to do a back post double crochet, regular double crochet, back post double crochet. Um, and it's going to be the same chain one over the chain one and, you know, double crochets into the other. I did run out of the Red Heart with Love yarn. I was very disappointed with that, um, but I'm just gonna finish it up with this uh, Worsted 8 from Harshner's because it is a number four, but you'll notice you'll notice the difference in the yarn. Uh, I just didn't have any more of the Red Heart with Love and I didn't want to take the time to go buy it. So, um, and I'm finishing row round 26 with a slip stitch at the beginning. Uh, oops, missed. Missed where that sucker goes, all right. Um, because this next round is back post doubles, uh, and I'm I'm going to slip stitch um, What am I gonna do? How did I do that? Let's pause. Okay, so um, this round is back post doubles. So I'm gonna start with a back post single crochet and then do the side into the side because I'm, you know, like in the middle of the group of stitches here. And then it's just going to be, sure. There we got it, back post, double crochet on every double crochet and a chain one in over the chain, any chain ones, and then back to back post double crochet. So this is what we do for round 27 and 29 are gonna be the same way. So, <clears throat> excuse me, round 28 is just gonna be double crochet. So round 28 is the repeat of round tw um, 26. So that's what we're gonna do and that will finish up I'll show you here. This will finish up our last white rounds and then we're gonna go into the border after that. Um, so that's where we're at. I will meet you back at the end of round 29, which will be um, a back post double crochet round. I'll meet you at the end of that in just a few, well, for you, it'll be just a few seconds. Okay, so let's see where were we? We finished off the um, round 29 and we're done with that color. So now what we're going to do is start the red again. And I know the pattern doesn't read this way. I don't know why I wrote it the way I did, but basically you're going to start in the, in between the second and third stitch, you know, here. Uh, and you're going to do a single crochet and then we're going to do skip two and go in and make do six double crochet Skip two and do a single crochet um, just to get it started to get our numbers right um, But that'll be the same on all the sides uh, Then you're going to single crochet in every uh, the pattern is going to be single crochet in the chain space, six double crochet in the next chain space, creating a shell, 
single crochet in the next chain space, six double crochet in the next chain space, creating the shell. Um, so we're making shells across. The idea was for this to kind of look like a bunting. Um, Amanda didn't think I should add blue. I thought I should have, but we didn't. Uh, and if you want to add a row of blue, I might at the end of this, I don't know. Um, and when you do the corners for the first round, it's just going to be six double crochet in the corner. We're not going to chain two. Um, so the beginning of the corner is how the end of the corner is going to be. Uh, just make it work. <laughs> Whatever it is that makes it so you work even um, into your corner. So I don't know, I must have been off a stitch here or something because I've got two here, but I've got three on this one. So, or I missed, I guess I should have been there. <laughs> I think I stuck it in the wrong hole. So anyway, uh, that's the, the start off is every two until you get to the chain spaces. Then when you get to the chain spaces, it's every chain space that you'll be crocheting into. And so it's um, six uh, double crochet with a chain one on either side to get it to flatten out. So um, you're gonna start with, uh, you know, whatever you like, a slip knot. Um, that's how I'm gonna start. It's just with a slip knot back with your red and I'm going to go into the like this is one two third stitch that's I guess one. and just do a single crochet to join then you're going to skip two one two and go into the third and you're going to do six double crochet two three four, five, and six double crochet. We're going to um, skip two because that puts us in our chain one space and do a single crochet. Then we're going to go into the next uh, chain space and we're going to do six double crochet. Oops, need more yarn. Ah. Dog on it. Two. Six. Come on. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. And then the next chain space is a single. Put this down some. Next chain is back to six double crochet. So that's gonna be your pattern. Once you start the chain spaces, you don't like have to look or anything. Just have to uh, keep going. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and keep count. I can't count and talk at the same time, apparently. Talk, count, and crochet all at the same time. Okay, so we're just going to do that all the way down to the end. I'll meet you when we get to the end because your chain spaces don't go all the way to the end. So that's where you kind of have to, you know, make it fit. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to just pause this and come back when I get to the end. Okay, so now I'm down here at the end and I'm out of chain spaces with this chain one. So between, I'm going to go over three and I'm going to do my six double crochet. One, oh goodness, got my, <laughs> got my yarn all tied up over here. Okay, so I got my six double crochet, and so I'm just gonna go in here and do the chain one, and then we're gonna do six double crochet in this chain two space to go around your corner. Two, three, need 
some more yarn here. Four, five, and six. And we're gonna skip two and do the chain one. And skip three and do your, well, no, skip two because there's your, um, oops, double crochets here. <laughs> so you'll skip the two, skip the two again, just like we did on the first one, on the first side with your six double crochets again. I think this is four. five and six and then we're back to our chain spaces so chain one and then continue down your chain spaces just like before we're gonna go that all the way around the other uh the rest of the three sides and meet back back here i'll see you when we get back to here all righty so now we're back at the beginning of the first round of the border and we're going to slip stitch in to join and then from here we're going to single crochet in the single crochet oops <laughs> that's not a single crochet so single crochet and every single crochet the rest of the way um every time you get to a single crochet you're going to single crochet and you're going to do a back post double crochet in every double crochet all the way around until you get to the corner. So it's pretty simple. Just, we know how to do back posts. We've done a lot of those. <laughs> so we're going to back post around the shell, every stitch in the shell need more yarn here <laughs> okay there we go uh, so it'll be six back post double crochets and then a chain in the chain I mean a single crochet in the single crochet and then back to oh gosh I'm sorry off screen there six back post double crochets One in every stitch because we're going to make that ridge again. And then single crochet in the single crochet. We're going to do that all the way until we get to the corner. And I will meet you back at the corner. Alrighty, so I'm at the first corner. I just have to do my single crochet here. Now for the corner on this row, um, we're going to do back post double crochet on the first three stitches, because there's six stitches here. So on the first three, we're gonna do back post double crochet. This is what you'll do on all the corners, obviously. One, two, and then we're gonna do two double, uh, two, um, chain two <laughs> that wasn't coming out right and then we're going to do back post double crochet on the next three stitches to finish the corner so let me just show you this one I and back let's see post for the third time then we'll single crochet in our single crochet and we're going to go around back to single crochet around every uh, I mean a back post double around all the rest of it. So you're going to create this square on your corner again like this this one rounded it but this is going to square it back up. So you're going to continue this round of back post double crochet in every double crochet and a single crochet in every single crochet. Then on your next rounds for three and four of the border I'm not going to do these with you because it's just back post double crochet all the way around just like this exact same stitch except when you get to the corner 
you're going to do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Um, and everything else is back post double crochet. So your corner will, again, be square and have your little hole in it. So it's just that one that's rounded. Um, really don't know why I did it that way, but I kind of like the look of it, so I didn't change it. Uh, and so then your blanket will be done. Weave in all your ends if you haven't been doing that along like I have not. Uh, so this round, you're going to break up break up your curved row here to be able to do your your corner square again. Um, and it's three, I, I guess I only did one on the last row. So three double crochet and then on the last row just one. Just to keep it a nice square corner and a little scallop on your edge to give it that bunting effect I was kind of looking at. So I think you can do the rest of that by yourself. Just remember that on the the second row round of the corner you're going to start to make it square again the next round is going to be three double crochet into that corner and then just one on the last round and then everything else is back post so if you are watching this video um, before uh, uh, when it first comes out uh, this is July 2020 I know I wanted to have it out at the end of June, but that didn't happen. Um, and I had said that uh, when I decided to create this, that if you post a picture of your completed project by the end of July 2020, on August 1st, I will um, draw a name out of all the people that post a picture on my Facebook group page, Charm Grammy Crochet Group. There's always a link to, or there's, it's always, uh, in the description box below uh, on all of my videos so if you put your picture in there um, at the end of I was gonna do it July 30th but because this isn't gonna come out until after the first week of July I'm gonna extend it to August 15th on August 15th I will um, draw a name of all the people who have submitted pictures on the Facebook group page for their finished Afghan and um, you'll win a prize to, yet to be determined. I'm not quite sure what the prize will be. I hope to see a lot of different variations of the Afghan, um, but I am going to extend it two weeks uh, because I didn't get this up as quickly as I wanted. So August 15th, I will be pulling the name. You'll have till uh, August 14th to get your picture on the Facebook group page. And August 15th, 2020, I will be um, pulling the name. Uh, you have to uh, obviously be a member of the page to do that but it's real easy to join uh, and I will list the winner on the group page and I will list the winner um, you know I'll do the drawing on uh, on YouTube so that you can you know participate um, and you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel and be a member of the Facebook group page in order to win the prize. Uh, and that's all we got, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really sorry that it got out later than I anticipated. And uh, I think I will probably do a tutorial for the other red, white, and blue blanket that I did. I'm going to call it um, the Americana flag. Um, but I think I will do a very short tutorial on that because it's a very simple blanket to make. I did find a yarn that people will, I think, could use. All right, so have a very great day, and thank you again for watching.